everybody. I don't normally get on camera, but today I felt inclined to do so, giving uh, the season of Thanksgiving. I wanted to express thanks for you. Um, those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watch my videos, um, and those who aren't subscribed that drop by. I have a lot of you who watch who aren't actually subscribed. Um, I hope that you will consider subscribing, um, but the fact that you come by and view my videos is, you know, means a lot to me as well. Um, I am thankful for this journey that I've started of uh, paint pouring. It's uh, something that I considered doing for a long time before I actually did. Uh, and I'm currently unemployed and have been since March. And <laughs> so I've had the time um, to devote to learning something new and it's been uh, an enjoyable experience, uh, challenging, but uh, <laughs> fun. And as I've um, gotten better at it, it's uh, been fulfilling as well to be able to master some of these techniques. And um, given that I am the type of person who enjoys the challenge, it's good to have something to strive for um, in this time when um, life has been very uncertain. Um, I want to uh, say that I'm thankful for um, my health and for uh, being able to uh, have the, the talents and uh, I guess the uh, will to, to keep trying at, at something that is new and challenging and to do this uh, very challenging thing of doing YouTube. Um, it is not easy getting in front of a camera. <laughs> uh, and it's even, uh, it takes a lot of work to do all the setup and even more so to do all the upload and, and everything of, that's involved with um, making uh, videos. But, as I said, I'm the type of person who enjoys the challenge, so I'm gonna keep at it as long as I'm able to uh, keep doing this painting. Um, we will see, you know, that's gonna depend on um, money. You know, it takes money to do, the, you know, to buy the paint, to buy the canvases and the varnish and everything. And I've sold very few paintings, but I'm gonna keep trying. You know, I have them listed on my Etsy shop uh, and I'm currently doing a sale um, on all my paintings and my handcrafted jewelry that I've been selling for years on there. Um, so if you feel so inclined, you know, visit my shop and check out what I've got. Um, I'm gonna wrap up this, uh, this part of the video and uh, we'll move on to the painting part. So I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, we're back for the paint party part of the video. Uh, I put on some gloves this time. Haven't been wearing them lately, but I decided today I was going to um, put on some gloves, put up my hair, and now it's time to get started. Uh, we have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. Uh, we're, as you see, uh, I've got a turntable. Uh, well, maybe you can't tell that, but uh, the turntable is set inside of a uh, little kiddie pool. And um, that's, uh, we're gonna be doing an open cup pour and then spinning to distribute the, the paint. So um, I will be providing the colors that we're using in the description as I typically do. Uh, so let's get started. I've got my door uh, open to the outside, so you may hear some screaming going on. I hope not. 
uh, but I have some some children that live nearby that tend to not know how to use normal voices <laughs> when they're outside. Um, so, and I've heard them out there recently. Yeah, they're still out there and screaming. Um, but um, I want to keep the door open because I'll explain why. Uh, because I've been using, I've been mixing up paint and uh, the Floetrol that I have stinks. It's some of what, uh, you know, you painters who are keeping up with things lately, you're well aware that um, there's some stinky Floetrol going around. And um, I did not return it, as a lot of people say, oh, return it. Well, I got mine um, through Amazon and paying way more for it um, because Floetrol is not easy to get in my city these days unless you drive quite a distance to another area of town. The area of town I live in, for some reason, you, can, you can't get any. Um, Anyway, so I've been using the Floetrol. It works fine, but it stinks really bad. So um, I've been uh, leaving my balcony door open while I've been mixing paints. And it is warm today. It's nice and warm today. So uh, I'm continuing to leave the door open while I'm doing this so that it will not stink up my apartment but if these kids get you know will not ease up on the screaming uh, I'm gonna have to shut the door they should you would think they would be going in because it's around supper time uh, but I have a feeling that mom sent them outside while she's cooking or something <laughs> to get rid of them but um, hopefully it's not gonna be an issue um, okay let's get started enough about that Got to focus on what we can control, and that's this. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do black as a background, as that's my favorite for doing these open cups. That is what I typically use, and I love the black. We are going to be using some metallics in this, but not all. I guess I'm going to have to shut the door. These kids are just got issues. about that really was hoping not to have to do that but they just weren't going to let up just weren't going to let up and they weren't even close to my door they were a, little, a distance away but I know you guys could hear them so I just had to had to shut the door you just have to deal with the stink
gonna put a little bit of some silver in here, but not a whole lot. Silver really seems to overtake paintings. You, if you uh, have not worked with it and not familiar, every time that I've used it, it is an issue. Lift up our cup a little bit. Get some movement going on. Let's put a little shot of some black in here to Not getting anything going on in this. I don't know what's up with that. Usually stuff is popping up before now. Get this much paint poured in. black. I'm starting to finally see some stuff coming up.
I really needed this painting session today. Been a lot of challenging stuff going on in my personal life. And uh, just really needed this today. You guys are the only people that I really talk to much. Don't have, don't really have much of a social circle at all. And uh, don't really talk with my family all that much either. So it's, it's just one of those things. I'm, Art is my my refuge, more or less. I need to get some paint coming this way. So we're gonna do a little traveling if I if that's what I need to do. And that can make some pretty cool effects. kind of tilt that way or I don't know had some of these uh, paints left over for some time and uh, they're all getting used. <laughs> some of this, like this here, this paint here, I have been using this for different uh, projects for I don't know how long, quite some time. Um, we're gonna use the last of it today. more silver. This pink is really showing up, isn't it? <laughs> That's good though, I don't mind. Um, these are pretty much my favorite colors. I mean, I really like a lot of blues, but I don't know if any of y'all have Notice, but blue is kind of overdone in the painting world. And I've done a lot of it myself, but I just was not going to do blue today. It was just <laughs> upon principle. It's been so overdone. I consider blue to be a safe color. It's very safe. Everybody loves blue, and uh, you can't go wrong with blue. But today, I didn't feel like being safe. I wanna do something that brings me joy. <coughs> and uh, I don't know, I guess pushing the boundaries is something that brings me joy, I don't know. <laughs> That's silly. 
but I ain't pushing it too much because, I mean, who doesn't like pink and purple, right? <laughs> and red. And not everybody likes red. I've heard some people actually go out of their way to not do red, but I love red. We probably have enough with this, but I only have a speck of these others left, a little bit of this pink, which yes, I have plenty of in the painting, but why not go ahead and use it all? It's not gonna hurt nothing, I don't think. Just in a mood to uh, just go for it. Use them all. Use it all. Why well, save a little bit? I, t I have little containers with little bits of all, all kinds of paint. That's kind of typical for me. But okay. gonna get the rest of this paint out of here and I'm not going to be terribly concerned if I uh, have some black negative space that'll be okay with me but we'll see how it goes let's give it a spin oh, we need to move that Go back this other way.
to get some movement to spread this paint out more. The reason that is um, an objective is when it's looking cloudy looking like this, um, that means we need to spread out the paint. Cutting board has got some good weight to it, but even with that, it wants to move on me when I really give it a shove. <laughs> okay. I have the canvas on a cutting board in order to be able to do this size of a canvas. Do you see how I'm starting to get some other, like this silver is starting to pop up some as I'm spreading this. It's not yet looking quite as um, as um, blurry or whatever word you want to use. Cloudy. Starting to, it's starting to look more, the colors are starting to look more defined. I wish, um, I wish I could afford to get a bigger, buy a bigger spin table, but that's not going to happen, so... Uh, this is dry here on this side and it's just not the paint's not moving here so I need to touch that to um, help it out we, we need movement everywhere it's covered most almost all of the other parts of the sides so it's done pretty good of course you know it never fails that the corners are <laughs> the corner wants to be contrary. That's a given almost, so. Um, now my cat wants to start hollering. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Somebody's going to be hollering today, seems like. The kids. Well, she's my kid, so. I guess if the neighbor kids can yell, she can too. worried about the silver overtaking and I'm not even hardly seeing any of it at all. I did want some to be in.
Okay, let's try it again. Probably got some paint on there. I go that way it wants to jerk off of the thing it's uh I don't know why it's probably me something in the way I'm doing see every time I want to go in that direction it just wants to come off I'm not really seeing any ain't coming off right now anymore so I'm gonna stop there um, get take down the, the camera and uh, give you guys a close-up well, sweep these slides off Let's get a close up of this baby. Let's turn it. Hey guys, I decided to re record the close up because I really didn't like the way that it came out uh, the first time when I uh, reviewed my video. So uh, I am going to re record that and uh, hopefully it's going to look a lot better and it already looks a lot better to me uh, the colors were not true at all before so I've uh, got this position somewhere different and got light shining right on it um, so that's helping I hope with uh, seeing the true colors. Um, I know it is. Uh, the colors just did not look true at all. As you see, we've got lots and lots and lots of cells. And this is going to look different even after it is dried because I didn't think that we had any silver pop up, but if you look really, really close, those little bitty, the little specks of what looks like could possibly be white is actually silver. I'm getting really, really close. So this is really going to look different when it's dry. But... It looks really cool now. And we've got a lot of silver in this area. And a lot of really interesting looking cells. That one there, look at that. Well, that's <laughs> Kind of looks like a face or something. It's really odd. Got some really interesting cells when you look close up. And I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, um, it is just loaded down with metallic shimmer all through it. So that's really going to be a major thing when it dries. It's really hard to catch it on camera when it's wet. You can see it real easy in, in real life. Look at this part. This is really wild looking. Really 
right in here too. It looks like a backbone or something. <laughs> I think that was a much better close-up version. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll probably take retake uh, the pictures of of it too because I took pictures of it earlier. Um, but as I said, the colors weren't true, so I'll probably redo that too. But I am going to sign off for now. Hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. Um, and I look forward to um, doing another paint party soon. If you all enjoyed this, this one, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, suggestions, questions. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. Bye.